your West Durham Ironheads on the road in Orangeville for a matchup with potential playoff seeding implications versus the Northmen. In the first, Orangeville's Liam Smith takes Devin Dunkerley's pass out front and he opens the scoring for Orangeville. Just four minutes later, it's the new guy, Braden Hickey, can't make the backdoor play, but Cameron McGinnis rips it home to tie the game up at one. Then a good cycle here from West Durham before Jacob Hickey finds Jack Boyden, who finds the mesh, and we're 2-1 at the end of the first period. The Northmen come out fast with two straight goals to take the lead. Then four on four, Mitch Bernier sets a hard screen Liam Smith finds him on the roll, and he makes it 4-2 for the Northmen. Both teams traded several goals, and with a chance to tie it up at six, Ironhead's Kyle Robson does just that on the nice shot top shelf. After Orangeville took the lead, Brock Giles on the fast break, he keeps it, and he beats Tyler Newman, and we're 8-6 going to the third period. Where the Northmen strike first once again. It's Bernier with a second of the game off a nice screen. Now four on three, Braden Hickey finds Aiden Conlon who gets it to Jack Boyden who snipes this one in low. That's Braden Hickey's first point as an Ironhead in his first game. Then a fight for the ball and Northman's Norm Pitt comes out of it and he beats Newman to complete his hat trick. West Durham outscored 4-1 in the first 16 minutes of the third and are down 12-7. The power play helps them out back-to-back -back power play goals. This one, Mark Wilson up to Jacob Hickey, who makes it a three-goal deficit. Then it's Aiden Conlon who fakes it and keeps it before finding the back of the net to make it 12-10, but just 16 seconds left. West Durham pulled the goalie, but it's too late, and they drop this one 12-10 and fall 12-6 on the season. Here's Conlon on Orangeville's physicality. Yeah, I think that's a good defense. Uh, they press out, they uh, get the hands, and I think they made it a little tough for us. We needed to adjust, and I think near the end of the game we started to. You know, things just kind of got a little bit sloppy in the second. Uh, I felt that uh, we had real good intensity uh, in the first. We were pushing the ball well. We really like to play with tempo. Uh, and then just a couple of you know quick goals for them and a couple of big plays off uh, loose balls. and. Just the intensity wasn't there, and you could see that Orangeville came out with that intensity. Yeah, I think we, we know that uh, the more wins we pick up, the better seeding we're going to have come playoff time. So we want every point we can get, and it starts on Saturday trying to get two from the Gales. You know what? I think uh, with the Green Gales, it's just you got to play fast, got to play with tempo, and eliminate those mistakes. Uh, a similar tonight, uh, a good team like Orangeville, every time it seemed like we made a mistake, they capitalized. Uh, and the Green Gales are going to do the same thing. 